Hello everyone, it's me, I'm back. It's been a while since I have uh, posted up any videos, about a year in fact. Last thing I was doing was um, uh, some videos about maintenance and I think the last, very last thing I did was about taking a gearbox out ready to do some spline lubrication. Uh, well, I've been away doing other stuff and you know, enjoying myself, but I thought it was way past time I started posting videos up again. So on this video, I'm going to be finishing off what I was doing and lubricating those gearbox splines and um, putting the gearbox back in. Now the gearbox has not been out all this time. Uh, this is old film footage that I hadn't got round to editing and putting together. Um, so don't think that I've not been riding my bike because that's exactly what I have been doing. Been out and enjoying myself, having a bit of fun touring and whatnot. Um, so this particular movie is about lubricating the gearbox spline and putting the gearbox back in and then adjusting the clutch. So I hope you enjoy it all. As I say, apologies for not um, uh, having posted anything up. I know people have been contacting me asking where I've been. Uh, there'll be more videos to come. I've still got a load of old footage to put on and then hopefully it won't be too long before I'm making new videos again. Anyway, without any further ado, here we go. Thanks. Right, so um, I'm just putting some uh, Optimal paste into the splines here. before um, the gearbox goes back in just working that in there I'll do this once a year um, and uh, all right there we go Okay, so that's that done. All right, time to lift the gearbox back in. So, the thing to be careful of here is not mashing up the neutral light switch on the bottom of the gearbox. So we'll um, attach I'll attach the um, cables here. Put a new neutral light switch in, but well, that's quite a straightforward procedure. Looks like might have a bit of cable damage here. Let's 
it's just a bit of damage to the insulation. I think that would be okay. So we'll attach these neutral light cables. Insulation's bad on this. That's got a new bit of cable. It's a case of juggling the gearbox into position. There we go. The gearbox in. Don't forget there's a earth wire there <coughs> so I've just screwed that uh, bottom mounting on finger tight and now I'm going to put the air filter box back on There's a bolt that screws into the bottom of the gearbox. Oh, sorry, into the top of the gearbox, bottom of the air filter box, and into the top of the gearbox. So we just screw that in finger tight, and then we'll put the uh, top gearbox mounting bolt on. Whenever you're putting a, an assembly on like this, which has several fasteners attaching a component, always get the threads on every component started first. Uh, and then that way you, you'll find it easiest to get the head started. So this is the last gearbox 
mounting bolt. Don't uh, force the gearbox into position, you can break the top. You know, or you can break a mounting lug off if you're not careful, if you try forcing it. So I'm just putting a little smear of uh, Optimal paste on the uh, clutch push rod. <coughs> and uh, we'll feed that through. And uh, now I'm going to put on the uh, Boots. We're getting of course the bearing. Then the boot. The boot should clip over the extension of the gearbox. And then we should put the clip on. Applying a bit of thumb pressure to the back of the boot because there's a spring in there, and we want to make sure that the clip and the boot are nicely seated in the groove and the protrusion at the back of the gearbox before really tightening this clip. That's nicely in position. Put the actuating leader back on. Okay. Always a good idea to check the condition of the bearing in the back of this lever uh, because they do get gritty. Okay, 
feels good. Put the pivot bolt in from the top. Just in case the nut ever drops off. With any luck, the pivot bolt won't make its way out against gravity. Six mil nut, so it requires a ten mil socket. There's the clutch lever back on. Gear box end. I can put the clutch cable back on now. That slots into the gear box end first. Then I'll just use a lever to activate the clutch operating mechanism so that I can hook the clutch cable into place. So to check the clutch adjustment, you need to check the distance between the facing of the gearbox on the gearbox where this face here where I've got this rod. I've cut this rod to a predetermined length, which I can't remember at the moment, but I'll put it up on the and then you need to measure the distance to make sure that the lever, the clutch gearbox lever, just touches on the back of the lever where the cable is. If that is, if that distance is um, too short or too long, then you need to make adjustments. Okay, to the clutch. So that's that's perfectly okay. So we don't need to concern ourselves about that any further. Uh, once you've set the distance of that lever, then you can go up to the handlebar and check the amount of free movement of your clutch lever before you start to activate the clutch. That's the correct way to do it. So set the this distance between the, the gearbox here and the clutch lever Okay, get that right and make that adjustment on that adjuster at the back of the gearbox. You can see there. So make that adjustment there and then set your adjustment, your free play up at the up at the clutch lever. <laughs> 